All right, in this video, we will be comparing the animations between the One UI 8.5 and the One UI 8.0. We will cover various aspects of the animations. You guys check it out and let me know whether there is any improvements on One UI 8.5. Is there any difference that you're noticing? Drop a comment and let me know. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button. Let's reach at least a thousand likes for this video. Now, both these phones are on standard profile. Let's begin with app opening and closing animations. I have deliberately set the light wallpaper on both the phones so that the animations are clearly visible. Let's start. Let's repeat this. Now let's go to the Recents application. Let's close all of them now. Now to me, it looks more or less the same, but you guys let me know if you find any difference in app opening and closing animation. Now let's also look at this in slow motion. What do you think? Is there any difference in animations while opening the applications and closing it? Drop a comment and let me know. Now let's go ahead with the quick panel and notification panels. Quick panel. Let's switch between these two. Now here on the notification panel, you can see when I try to swipe a specific notification, we have got this cool effect on One UI 8.5, whereas on the previous version, none of the other notifications move, but here there is a slight movement of the other notifications, which actually look pretty cool. May not matter to a lot of people out there, but yeah, this is pleasing to the eyes for sure. Now on the quick panel, let's press and hold on some of these toggles. Now the brightness bar, you can see this has got a brand new effect here. That is because it's going from vertical bar to the horizontal bar here. Smart view. You can see there is a difference here, not in animation. Smart view opens up in a smaller window, whereas on One UI 8.0, it opens up in the larger window. Let me do this again. There it is. Now let's press and hold on the home screen. Let's press and hold on the icons here. Let's go to the settings. Let's open a few settings here. On both, we have got the back swipe gesture animations. Uh, on One UI 8.5, it's available by default, and here we can enable it in labs in the settings. Now, let me just open a few settings here. It is actually pleasing to the eyes, this back gesture animation. Looks pretty cool. Now, let's open calculator application. There is a small change in the animation here. Let's press some keys here. You can notice there is a beautiful animation here on One UI 8.5. Now let's go to clock, switch between tabs. Now it's time for the widgets. Let's open the weather widgets. Let's open the now brief. 
Now let me open clock and start the timer here. There is a slight difference in the animation here. Let me delete this, cancel this. Let's start this again. Actually, this animation looks better on One UI 8.0. Yeah, I would prefer this one here. Now let's start the timer and go to the home screen. You will notice a difference here. You see that? The live notification, uh, the clock just gets into this live notification area and here the clock goes back to its position and here there's a slight animation. Let me just show you this again. Let's go home. There it is. The last test, unlocking the phone. Now that's the animation on One UI 8.5 and the One UI 8.0. If you find any difference in this, do let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this? Is there any improvements on One UI 8.5? Which one is better? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all I want to share with you guys. All these wallpapers that you saw are available on Volvo's application. These are recently added under premium and free section. Go ahead and check it out. The auto wallpaper changer feature is coming up soon. Stay tuned and be sure to rate the application five star on Play Store. That would definitely help me to come up with some cool contents for you guys. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.